It's free to play dead in Galaxy of Heroes, ladies and gentlemen across the galaxy. Is the free to play dead, Gary? That is what we're going to talk about today. We got a spicy topic for today. We're going to talk about is the free to play experience dead in Galaxy of Heroes? And secondly, what I want to talk about is how can we improve upon the free to play experience in Galaxy of Heroes? As you guys know, we started an experiment about a month and a half ago where I started a brand new free to play account in 2020 and also kind of on top of this video i also want to give you guys an update on my free to play account what are my most pressing questions if people want to see an update on my free to play account we started a month and a half ago and i'm gonna do just that a little plug in if you guys would really like a more intimate experience seeing my free to play account grow over here to the right check me out on twitch about three to five times a week i stream my free to play account and other stuff on my main account that you uh you that you would normally not see me stream over on youtube so please go ahead and check me out over there if you really are concerned about following every step of the process with my free to play account let's start out this question is free to play dead in galaxy Virus? we have two of my main accounts here we have my main main account the whale account over six million gp that's always getting the latest and greatest in galaxy of heroes it's going to be getting all the great uh, galactic legends coming up this month we were able to get the finalizer the raddest the seven stars day one so and then over here we got this puny eighty-five thousand gp barely a uh, seven star separatist uh oh, seven almost seven star nude gunnery oh, yada 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 which one which accounts having more fun let me be a hundred percent honest with you i'm having miles upon miles and upon miles of more fun with my free to play account over here to the right compared to the latest and greatest account over here and let me explain why this account over to the left is solely for the community's benefit i will not for personal benefit not because i i feel like it's gonna benefit me actually to the contrary i feel like spending money actually hurts me quite a lot in galaxy Heroes, but i spend money on this account over here to the left because i want to get people interested or get people in the information knowledge and entertainment to enjoy this game one of the biggest resources for free-to-play players is someone kind of taking the bullet seeing what the new tools and characters look like so that way they can somehow integrate those new characters into their plans in the future now that's what i do this for i spend money for people to kind of learn from the videos and take it into their own light spending life whale life or the free-to-play life but really uh, like these galactic legends i'm gonna be getting both of them so you guys can see which one's gonna be the better one we're gonna be doing extensive testing in grand arena the raids yada 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 but honestly, uh, the only type of enjoyment I've gotten is just kind of gearing up Sith Trooper right here. Of course, maybe these characters will get reworks. We don't know that just yet. And that'll maybe change my opinion. But like <laughs> Rose Tico, I am not looking forward to gearing up. I've been actually stalling it because I just don't want to spend the money to get her ready so I can make videos. I'm going to ultimately do it in the end. But it's like right now, I'd much rather Relic 7 Stormtrooper, right, Gary? Than do Rose Tico. So... The point being is the reason why I feel this way is because Galaxy of Heroes is not dead free to play. Now, if your definition of free to play is always making sure you have the latest and greatest, always making sure you have a counter meta that's budget to always take out the newest thing, then yeah, free to play might be dead in that sense. But in terms of enjoyment, can you enjoy Galaxy of Heroes free to play 1000 freaking percent? baby my number one rule that i always share is you control the game don't let the game control you because this game is kind of designed to make you feel like you gotta spend money to catch it but let me tell you one of the reasons why i've been enjoying this free to play account is because i don't spend money and you don't get frustrated because the whole point of spending if you spend you feel like you're getting ahead but then you lose you get frustrated and you might spend more that's the mentality some people get in but with the free to play account you go at your own pace you kind of come to a realization that you're not gonna have galactic legends kylo day one but they're still fun and progress to be made as you see here let's give a little tour of this account before we start talking about tips to improve the free-to-play experience uh we've been playing for a month and a half on this free-to-play account probably a little bit less and i probably should be about level 69 70 68 but i didn't have my uh, free-to-play account when i went on two trips went to california and florida back in february and so unfortunately we kind of fell back a little bit but that's fine i'm going at this at my own pace and i do i do that's kind of a, something i push upon you guys is don't feel like you have to always log in yes that's the best way to progress but if you feel like you got to take a day off feel free to do so here though we're making some good progress we're almost at a seven star nude gunnery got a five star count dooku six star baga lesser six star magna guard almost at seven star series two and we're slowly making our way for a seven star geonos and we've been starting this free to play account because i want to see is there a better way to start the free to play account experience in 2020 the only the tips that we always gave out was farm phoenix first and that's still a solid tip 
don't get me wrong, but a lot of people started up a new account after kind of following me, and they're like, I'm really enjoying this Separatist experience. They are a much better team than the Phoenix. They full clear Galactic War. They climb up Arena fairly well for a beginner free to play. And as you're seeing, we're very close to unlocking Padme Amidala. We just got to cross a few T's, dot a few I's. We have the Star requirement. I need to get probably to gear nine, gear 10, and I'd really like to get the Omega over on Newt Gunnery's lead because that's when things get really, really interesting. And then in about a month or two, I'm going to have one of the best characters in Galaxy of Heroes, top three, top four characters in Galaxy of Heroes, Padme Amidala very excited about that probably more excited unlocking her on this account than i am over than i was over on my main account because this account i went about it at my own pace i'm going about it through a more organic galaxy of heroes experience in my opinion and i gotta say some other great things that didn't exist way back when was uh you get darth vader so much earlier and than i ever did and that's kind of cool there's all these little achievements and stuff like that you can get vader within the first two to three weeks of galaxy of heroes and although he's a c grade character at best in this game little progress like that gets you excited and then another couple things i want to point out we're farming towards vassal sean juhani kind of slowly working our way towards jedi Knight revan and then over here we're slowly farming ig 2000 has some poggle shards attached to it as well so we can try to slowly prepare for Hans Millennium Falcon so we can dominate ships content down the line. I'm gonna be making I'm gonna be making a more in-depth free-to-play farming guide for 2020 within the next week or two. I have a very good understanding of how the beginning of the game is right now. But with this said, I said the free-to-play experience isn't dead, and my definition again is you can have fun in Galaxy of Heroes free to play going about at your own pace don't worry about always getting the latest and greatest watch my videos and other people's videos out there other guides forum post reddit to see how good the character new characters are so you can work that into your plan for the future but you can have a ton of fun more so than probably spending but what how can we improve this game for the free to play experience and especially beginner as well because one thing is a lot of people there's a big population out there that doesn't watch youtube videos because uh let's be honest <laughs> i feel like i might be helping out capital games quite a lot by, by keeping people engaged through my entertainment through my videos and probably there's other people out there everyone's got their content creator that they love dear uh, near and dear to their heart but there's a big portion of people out there that don't watch videos don't go through on reddit and forums that might get burnt out because they're trying to rely on the game to be their sole source of entertainment and not relying on like the grand admiral director of the video gaming division to keep them smiling and informed about this game these are going to be great tips in general and please feel free to add down below what else do you think needs to be added to improve the free to play experience point number one let's try to get through these uh, a little quickly here bronze impacts this is a big area of opportunity and i'm not i'm not dull i'm not naive the chance of stuff like this getting fixed is most likely not gonna happen because it doesn't make money i'm hoping there's gonna be uh, usually around march april every year it's a big quality of life day uh to, to improve the overall quality of galaxy of heroes bronze impacts the reason why i bring this up is because i think one of the biggest problems that people get overwhelmed and burnt on this game is that there's 183 characters. A lot of them are hard node, and there's so many characters to catch up on. They get burnt out, they quit, they let the game control them. Again, don't let the game consume you. Make it go the other round. You dominate the game, you tell the game what you're going to be doing. One thing that can honestly add very easily is deleting all this stupid gear that's in here and add characters that are legacy characters so characters like let's say uh, two years or older let's be kind of let's be pretty liberal with that we can i honestly think a year older would be great but that's kind of maybe not ideal for capital games two years or older gets added to the bronze impact you know you open up bronze impacts you get so many ally points you get a shard of emphasis Ness. maybe you get a shard of some of the scoundrels vandor chewbacca or you get some shards of boss because those are characters that are about two years old at this point or and then sometimes you might get five or ten and that's kind of like a lucky day for you other games implement this marvel strike force has a big orb system way more orbs that and that basically their packs give out so many great shards captain america uh captain marvel uh rocket raccoon punisher spider-man luke cage the this goes on and on and on they help new players catch up through these packs because if you i want i want the game that 400 characters but that's daunting for a lot of people because that means i'm going to be behind forever but if they try to implement a, a method for you to always kind of somewhat keep up with older characters and you're only about a year or two behind uh with the newer characters i think that's a lot better for people to choose so delete all these because this i uh, delete all these bad gear uh because I, it's a it isn't it's, it's very pleasant when you get what you need out of here well on twitch we were doing a pack opening and i got 50 shards of magnar that is fantastic i wish there was more of that where this could be a lot more usable moving on next thing i want to talk about 
Abolish the sim ticket. Now we're at level 63. Sim tickets aren't really a problem anymore. They're mathematically, there comes a point, I want to say around 55 and over, where the amount of sim tickets you spend doesn't deplete the amount you, 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 you bring in as income. So basically, you're always coming up with a net gain of sim tickets every single day. And if you follow my beginner tip guide, one of the things I say is you always got to do your dailies. And when you finish your dailies, you get 35 sim tickets. A lot of new people don't realize you need to finish your, your dailies every single day. So it's kind of obvious for veteran players, but not for beginner players. And as you see, we have a nice steady stream of sim tickets. But for new people, th th it's kind of like a baby. When you get a baby, those first few days, weeks are so important. They're fragile in this new world that they just came into. And one thing I've noticed, personal experience. I have friends and family tried playing this game. The beginning of the game, the sim ticket gate is real. You get stuck behind sim tickets, and that means you can't quickly farm the gear you need or farm those characters, and people get burnt and they leave because they're relying solely on this game's beginning interface, keeping them engaged with the game. They're, uh, abolishing sim tickets is not for it. Again, I don't want to bring up the MSF word, Marvel Strike Force. They have no sim tickets. They just go in there, you, you just sim, there's no ticket, you're done. I think that's incredibly important because people want to be able to try to gear up their roster and farm characters. And if they have to spend an extra seven minutes a day autoing uh, 10 times a battle to get gear or character shards that they need, that's taken away from the experience. Again, eventually sim tickets aren't as big of a problem, but I think in general, it would be a nice thing to implement. Next thing on top of this, Man, didn't really show you guys this lately, but this is my free to play account shard. And one of the tips, if you guys watched my video a while ago, the best beginner tips, you'd know that you really want to try to make it a goal to get above a thousand because that's when rewards start getting decent. But the problem is the chance of me climbing beyond 400, 300 for a while are going to be slim because as you see, this is a month and a half old shard, It'll probably a little bit younger. And we already got Relic 7 Genite Revens, Relic 5 Darth Revens, and a Relic 6, Relic 5 this is kind of sickening i'm not gonna lie this sickens me that a month and a half in this is what the account looks like for, for a brand new free-to-play player they see this and they might not realize it. it's gonna be a very very long time before you can start climbing these ranks i honestly think they should separate the free-to-play from the hyper drive bundles that might be a problem technologically because how shards work is that they bunch you up with people who are starting around the same time as you then that might get complicated i'm sure there's always a solution for everything out there not sure how difficult this would be to solve but this one of the best feelings when you're a new player is finally being able to climb up the top of your arena and way back when when i first started you can climb to the top of your arena within the first month or so it was so satisfying i remember sitting by my phone once everything reset for today i would quickly do my five arena battles so i can try to quickly climb up as high as possible and then i'd come back later on and do a try to get, make sure i get to number one it was just so exciting climbing those ranks flying past the thousands and hundreds and making your way to the top hundred in galaxy of heroes that's not a realization i think that's a really important thing uh the, the kind of address here mods next on the list right here this right here mod battles needs to be deleted it's useless absolutely useless anything other five dot mods is pure garbage please 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 don't waste your mod energy don't waste your time and effort leveling up these two and one dot mods what capital games needs to do like for the hyperdrive bundle people basically basically giving you instant access to getting three star the three star and all the last tiers of the challenges for the mods this is incredibly important five dot mods are king you could slice them get more speed get them the six dots and the problem is you can have every single new character you can farm all the juhanis and basils like i am and the separatists but if you don't have the mods to back them up you're depleting your roster by about 30 percent viability or even more you need the mods and a lot of people already hate mods as it is and they might just want to just farm these two stages because this tier is kind of hard it takes a while to get to it's probably going to take me to get to gear eight nine ten to finally three star this i think they need to give you access to this right away because they know mods the problem for new players to grasp and gating this is only going to make it even worse so i think they honestly should make this way more accessible to get those five dot mods because the earlier you farm five dot mods the better you're going to be become when you start getting your other characters you need to farm and lastly the thing i want to talk about is guilds for about a month and a half i was in a starter guild if you guys watched me start my new account i wanted to, to experience what it's like because for a person coming in blindly wanting to find a guild as i told you guys you need to join a guild if you want to be viable and be able to play this game and starter guilds are trash it's hard to explain for people who didn't experience it. it's more of a new thing but basically they have several tiers and every single time you've completed certain challenges it bumps up to the next tier of a guild which is a brand new guild and i never got raid rewards once 
because it kept bumping me from one to two to three to four to five. It was a bad experience. You need to get raid rewards. You need to get the gear. So my biggest tip, if they never fix this, is make sure you join a new guild. About two, three days ago, I finally joined a the guild. They're not like doing heroic uh, assist raid. They're not able to sim the rancor raid. So it's a, it's a good guild that's going to... Uh, make me have to work hard to get raid han solo and stuff like that but you need to get into a good guild because the starter guild functionality is really really bad <laughs> in galaxy of heroes and that's an important the, these baseline things that need to be implemented to make sure beginner people are enjoying the game uh regardless they have a content created to kind of keep them excited and just in general a lot of this stuff benefits free to play players in general but i want to close up the video reminding you guys free to play Although, yes, it's not it's not possible to get the latest and greatest right away like it was kind of way back into the day. Set your own goals. If you enjoy the game. Don't let the game enjoy you, if you know what I mean. We're almost about to get Padme. Another month or two, I'm going to have a fantastic character, and I'm having an absolute blast on this free-to-play account. Let me know down below. What do you think needs to be added to make Galaxy of Heroes more enjoyable for the free-to-play and the beginner experience? This is exactly what this video is all about. I would love to hear your thoughts ladies and gentlemen comment down below what do you guys want to see like who did enjoy the video comment down below on all your thoughts and be sure to subscribe so you're not missing a thing and i'll see all you lovely people in the next video peace out everybody Woo!